In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a flyer for a gospel concert and for Independence Day. I'm going to divide this video into three sections, how to design the whole of this image that you see on the screen right now, how to easily change the backgrounds as you see, and how to easily replace other artists if the artists that are performing are many. And this is coming up. Hey, I am more than a conqueror. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for coming up. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this video. Mind you, all of the images that I'll be using, the logos, everything that I'm using right now. It's a made up thing that I just came up with. None of the media houses that I'm using is affiliated or associated with this. And none of the artists that is Joyce Blessing and Effie Grace is associated with this one so you can find a link to download these particular resources in the description let's get into photoshop all right so here in photoshop the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new document so i'll go to file and then go to new and then i'm going to create a four by four inches document basically this is for social media but then if you want to print it you can go with the a3 or a4 check out a video of how i explain the various paper sizes in photoshop now when you click ok you're supposed to have something like this the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add a solid color to it the reason why i add a solid color to this one is because it is easily changeable you can easily change this to any color in case you change the artist or the type of color that the artist is wearing you can easily change it and that is the reason why i'm using a solid color over here so i'll click ok and then i'll go back to my resources and the first thing that i'll be adding is this independence act i'm doing this for the independence day celebration in ghana which is on the 6th of march so i'll bring this one in and then i'll transform it a little bit bigger i'll send this one on top right over here and then i'll right click and rasterize the layer now i'll press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate or better still you can go to image and then adjustment and then desaturate over here so this is the shortcut that i used so when i'm done with this i'm going to set the blending mode to multiply so once i'm done i'm going to add a layer max to this particular layer that we just added and i'm going to choose the brush to make sure that the size is big enough the hardness is zero and then the opacity here is 100 so i'll make the size a little bit enough and then I can brush off these areas that I don't really want. So you brush to about this side. It depends on the kind of image that you choose to use as your background though. And when we are done, we're going to decrease the opacity to 50%. And then you hit enter and we are good to go. So next off, we go back to the resources. And then we bring in the second image that I got over here. Like I told you, all these images are from the internet. None of them really belongs to me all rights reserved to the various owners so i'll crop this vector stock out and then i'll pick my eraser tool i'm choosing the magic eraser tool so i'm going to left click to get rid of the background since it is all white and then i'll send this one into the documents that we are working on so i'll bring it over here press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform this out by holding shift and then alt unless otherwise you're using photoshop 2019 or 20 so i'll press ctrl plus l and then i'm going to level this one up so i'm going to make it a bit dark like that one over there i want the greens and the reds over there so i'll click ok from here and then i'll move ahead and go back to my resources the next resource that i'm going to add is this hd sound wave wallpaper so i'll bring it over here and i'll position it right here so i'll send it beneath like this and then i'll right click and rasterize the layer so i'm going to set this to overlay like that and then i'm going to get rid of all the blacks over there so i'll add a layer max to this one select a brush tool and i'm going to get rid of all these place because we don't really need it over there so you can press ctrl t and then you transform it out a little bit so that it can go inside of the frame or the document that we are working on and then you double click on it to make sure that you are done now what i'm going to do next is on top of this hd sound wave wallpaper 
I'm going to add a white rectangle on top. So that is the place that we'll be putting our media sponsors over. So you just wait for it. When we get there, you get to understand. Next off, I'll go back to the resources again, and then I'm going to bring this particular mic. So I'll drag and drop it inside of Photoshop, and I'll place it at extreme right here. So I'll place it around the side, and then I'm going to transform it out like that. So I right click and rasterize the layer, and then I'm going to set the blending mode also to overlay so it is going to be like this and i'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit like that so once i'm done with that i'll go back to the resources again and i have this highlight over here so i'll bring this one also inside of photoshop and then i will leave it over here so i'll double click like that right click rasterize and then i'm going to change the blending mode to overlay so that it is going to give me that beautiful reflection over there you can take your time to position it over here but i'm going to make a duplicate of that by pressing ctrl j and i'll drag it beneath of it like this so it arranges for me basically like that so i'll press ctrl j again and then i'm going to make another duplicate and then that will be here you take your time you make sure that the interval is at least nice but for the sake of this tutorial let me just quickly rush through this when you get the resources you can take your time to do this and then we see how that one goes so afterwards i'll select the first highlight hold shift and select the third one press ctrl j and it's going to create a duplicate for me i'll press ctrl j to transform it right click and then i'm going to flip this horizontally so it is going to flip to the other side i hold shift and then i'm going to drag this one onto the other side so it is creating that sort of highlight and reflection at the background for me when I'm done with all these, these are going to comprise of the background. So I select the fifth highlight right over here, straight down to the solid color that we started with. Press Ctrl J and I can group this one to background. Once we are done with this, it is time to introduce the guest artist. And I'm making use of the picture of Joyce Blessing. This was a picture grabbed from her Instagram account. I've already taken out the background just to save you time if you want to know how to get rid of these backgrounds the background that comes with the picture i'll put a link in the description and on top of the card here so that you can just check it out how to get rid of background so i'll bring the guest artist on here and then i'll position her right away she's got some swag so i'll press ctrl a and make sure that she's centered in the middle just in the middle like that and I'll press Ctrl D to deselect that. I right click from here, rasterize the layer, and then add a layer max to it. Select my brush tool, and then I'm going to get rid of all this part. I don't want it to make or be like that solid. So I'll just select here and brush off. But better still, you can even leave it like that because we're going to add a couple of rectangles on top of this one. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select my rectangle tool and on top of that, I'm going to create a rectangle over here. So I'm going to press Ctrl A and make sure that it is centered right over there. Press Ctrl D to deselect and I'm going to double click on the thumbnail over here. I'm going to change the color to the second color. I'm basically using the colors of the Ghana flag, right? So I'll click OK and then good to go. Next off. I'll make a duplicate of the rectangle by pressing Ctrl J. So I'll press Ctrl T to transform it out. I'll use the arrow keys that I have and then I'll shift it down a little bit like this. Now this is already centered so we don't really need to spend time to center it again. But we're going to change the color. So you double click on the layer thumbnail and then you're going to change the color to red. So you click OK. Make sure that this is a bit red, more red. And then you click OK and then you're going to bring this underneath of the yellow rectangle. So you left click and hold and then you drag it beneath of the yellow rectangle that we have. So on top of these ones, we're going to add test to this. So I'll select the yellow rectangle. On top of these, I'm going to write something. So I'm going to select my test tool and start to write and I'm going to decrease the font a little bit. I'm going to use the font called Bebas. I'll put a link to download it in the description so you check it out. 
and then i'm going to write independence so basically what you do is when you are using bebas the spacing is a little bit weird so you use the tab key to make sure that it is open up a little bit so that you can have the independence day like this once you're done with it you press ctrl a to select it all and then you're going to change the color to white and then you click ok once you click ok you select your move tool then you can drag it inside of your yellow rectangle you can press ctrl t to transform this if it looks so small for you next up you right click on the independence day layer and then you go to bevel and emboss so you add a bevel and emboss to it you don't touch up anything over here but it comes straight to the gloss contour over there and then you can apply either of these ones onto it basically like any one that looks good for you like this one or that one or basically this one so i'm going to use this particular one right over there and then i'll click ok and then i'll close this one up so i'm going to zoom in so that i can see exactly the effect of this one and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate the test that is the independence day i'll drag it inside of that of the red rectangle that we have i press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform this one to be a little bit smaller and you take your time to use the arrow keys to position this one so i'll right click on this one and i'm going to clear the layer style that is that of this one i'm going to clear the layer style i'm going to edit that so i'll go for my test tool select all of these and i'm going to write gospel concept so it is going to read like independence day gospel concept and then i'm going to change this font to a font one of my favorite these days poppins a link to download it will be in the description so i'll change this one to the semi bold over here so that it can be a little bit bigger i go to the toggle character and i'm going to open or close this one up actually it is open so i'm going to open this one around like this so that it can there there will be space within this one so i'll go ahead and i'll take ok and then i'll take ok from here too so next off i'll press ctrl j and then i'm going to duplicate this gospel concept i'll bring this one down by dragging it beneath of the one that we copied it from select it over here and then i'm going to change the color to something gray something quite good that we can use and then i'm going to use the arrow keys and then i'm going to position this one right over there so you can see that it is creating sort of like a 3d if you have 3d already installed you can just basically use it but then it's kind of tedious so you can basically do something like this you can try to make the gray a little bit more so that it can be seen so you are coming down coming down it's coming down and then i think this one is okay so you click okay from here and then you take okay and then we are good to go so the next test is going to basically be the venue and that i'm going to change the color to white as well so i'll change this color back to white and i'll click okay and then i'm going to test or i'm going to put on this one Kumasi cultural center like i told you already everything that i'm putting on this particular flyer is a made up thing it is not an event that is happening so Kumasi cultural center and that is it so that is going to be the venue i right click on this one and then i'm going to blend in options and then i'm going to drop a shadow so i'll increase the size a little bit like that and then i'll click ok so i'll go back and i'm going to copy or duplicate the gospel concept again and then i'll bring it on the top extreme top right over here and then i'm going to change this one to the guest artist or ministering any title that you basically want to give to this one so i prefer using the ministering so the one ministering at the program is joyce blessing so like i told you this is made up so i'll press ctrl a and then i'm going to open the toggle character and i'm going to close this space within it like that and i'll press ctrl t to transform it so that it can be nicely placed over there now you use the arrow keys and then you position it right over here and then you right click go to the blending options you drop a couple of shadows or a shadow and you increase the size like that 
and then you are good to go so we are done with the main thing that is the main event that is happening we have the main title the independence day the gospel concept the venue and then the minister or the guest artist so what i'm going to do is right from the image that we added through to the ministering or the guest artist you press ctrl g to group all of them and then you're going to name this one main on the top left over here we want to add the date and then the time so you can see that the date and the time is not part of the venue over here so i'm going to add a rectangle to that one so i'll draw a rectangle over here something very nice and then you take your time to position it over here you double click on the layer thumbnail and then you can give it a popping color something that shows a little bit more and then you click ok now on top of that one we're going to write the date and then the time so i'll go for my test tool using the same poppings i'm not going to write straight inside of it i'll write beside of it and i'll drag it inside of the rectangle so i'm going to write friday because this year's independence is happening on the friday 6th of march so i'll close it up and then i'll position it inside of the rectangle that we created i will make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and i'll drag it down i'm going to edit this one to six or basically six or zero six anyhow you want to do it but i i just prefer using the six but either way if you want to add the th to it that is just fine you just add it but then you can select just that one this is a tip that you have to know you can select that one go to the toggle character and you can go to this superscript so you can superscript the th that is it, it is going to make it look very nice and very simple so you can just close it up by pressing ctrl t and then close it up a little bit but then if this one is not working out for you just like i don't feel this vibe you can just press ctrl alt and then z and then you are back to your normal ways so i'll duplicate the friday again and then i'll bring it over here and then i'll write march instead of me writing march 2020 i just want to leave this one off because it is this video is not just for 2020 it is for ages so i'm going to leave that one let me open the rectangle a little bit more so that i can write the next one that i want to add to this one so the next one that i'm going to add will be the time so i'll duplicate the match again by pressing ctrl j i'll bring it down here so i'm going to double click on that one i'm going to write 6 pm right over there so i'll push it up a little bit and it's going to read friday 6 march at 6 p.m so basically that's it so when we are done with this we can group this one as well press ctrl g and then we're going to name it date and time basically so date and time here now the last thing that i'm going to add will be the media sponsors and like i've already said all the logos and the media houses that i'm going to be using are not aware of this particular tutorial they don't even know this tutorial exists so it is just for educational purpose so on top of this rectangle that we created i want to add the media houses to it so i'm going to do about two of them and i'm going to fast forward this so i'll go back to select the rectangle right from background grouping so you can toggle with the layer to find out if you are on the right layer so on top of this one we're going to add the media houses and their logos first one that i'm going to add will be that of adon tv so i'm going to place their logo inside here double click right click and then i'm going to rasterize so i'll press ctrl t transform it to make it a little bit bigger and nice and then i'll send it over here so i'll press ctrl t to make it a little bit more smaller right click and then i'm going to create a clipping mask so basically it is embedded in that of the rectangle so i'll do one more time and i'm going to fast forward this one so next one i'm going to add multi tv and then i'll transform it out so this one you can even choose not to rasterize the layer but it, you have to make sure that it creates the clipping mask so it is going to be here and then you take your time to position it transform it a little bit more and then you can position it to the extreme right over there so i'm going to be doing the same thing for the rest of the logos that i have and i'll see you at the later part
so once you are done arranging all of these you're going to select them that is the logos that you added you press ctrl g to group that within that and then you're going to have this one but don't worry you fix that one so you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered once that is done you can right click on this one ungroup the layers and then as they are all selected you right click and then you create the clipping mask again so you have everything to be on point and the last thing that we're going to add on top of this one is going to be the media sponsor so i'll go for my test tool and then on top here i'm going to write media sponsor so that is it and then you press ctrl t to transform that one as well you press ctrl a and then you position it in the middle and then you can bring it down over here so basically that's how you come up with a very simple gospel concept flyer for any events that you are holding now i told you guys that i've grouped this one this is the general tutorial the next one that i'm going to show you is how to easily and quickly change the backgrounds and swap artists if the artists that you're having on this one are too many or they are many so basically the first thing is you go to the background right beneath of the background that is why in the first place i told you that we add a solid color so right at the background you can see that i have my green over here so i'll double click on that one and then you can easily change the color let's try something with the artist image you can see that if you change this one you're going to have something really nice like good looking like this one now when it happens this way all that you're going to do is you still go back to your date and time group and then you're going to select that rectangle as well and you're going to find a suitable color for it so basically it means that if you're having different guest artists with different backgrounds or attire or wearing and you want to make the design complement the attire or the design look good on them you can basically be using the attire the kind of attire that you are wearing and then you find a similar color to complement that one so i'm going to use the the picture of one popular artist in ghana fa grace i'm going to use a picture also to illustrate that one so what you do is you select the minister so this is a picture you can turn it off you go back to your resource or the images that you're having you choose that of fa grace and then you bring it in so you press ctrl t and then you transform her to make sure that she looks good on there press ctrl a and then you center her over there and press ctrl t as well and then you just increase this one a little bit so once you have her in like this you just close this one go back to your background and then inside of your background you go straight to the solid color that we have so you double click on that one and then you find also a nice color from her attire i think this looks so beautiful wow and then you click ok you go back to the date and the time right over here and then you're going to change that particular rectangle also to something like this to suit or complement the design if it happens that you are using such a color you can see from here that it is not too much complementing the yellow that we have here so in such cases you can just change that particular color as well to make sure that your color combination is on point and that is pretty much it that is how you can do this design a gospel concert flyer with different artists and different backgrounds and colors now let me know in the comment section between if agrees and that of joyce blessings image which one you are voting for before any other thing don't forget to change the name of the artist so this one is going to be changed to fa grace don't forget to do that thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye